They did it. They did it. They did it. They did it. What what can I say? What 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 can I say? Hmm? Let me move the mic. Let me move the mic real quick. What can I say, guys? Hmm? Tonight's show compared to last week very lackluster. But I hope uh, a viewer of mine had fun. You know, if you if you had fun there, bruh, that's all that matters. You have fun, you have fun. But for me watching Raw on TV for the first time in, in months, right? I can honestly say... I'm happy about this. I'm happy about this. The boss has won the title for the third time. I am so happy. You can tell by my fucking voice. I am so happy that Sasha Banks, for the third consecutive fucking time, she won the woman's title. You can tell by my tweets if you are if you uh, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description as always. The the Twitter link will lead you will lead you straight to my profile, so where you can just click the follow, look at all my tweets. I I think I should just I think I should just I I I I I I don't know. Okay. Let me comprehend oh, what just happened. Okay. So, it was the third or fourth match of the night. Sasha versus Charlotte. Women's title. Match ended in a, in a double countout. Now I'm thinking, okay, good. Okay, Foley. Uh, nobody could have come out and say nothing, right? Foley comes out and says, oh, we're not going to end it like this. We're going to have a match later on tonight. Falls can anywhere. No count outs, no disqualifications. <sighs> Three, two, one. Raw Women's Division is fucking dead to me. I could care less on what you have to say. Raw's women's division is the absolute worst thing on Monday nights. We only saw two of them twice. Twice. No Nia Jax. No Alicia Fox. Just Dana Brooke, Charlotte, Sasha. Bailey did a segment and that's it. Nobody else wrestled in the women's division. So uh, remember that woman in the, the that's a member of the Worldwide Underground and Lucha Underground that I preached about her able to wrestle with the men, how she's better than all of them. I ain't lying. I'm not lying. This. I'm just shocked that they did it. It's like Goldberg and Lesnar, but at least I benefited from it. This, I don't benefit nothing. Just pain in the ass, heartbreak, again, and again. This is their sixth time they have fought one-on-one. -on -one. Have you noticed that? I kept count. They've fought six times this year. Six times. And how many times the women's title has changed hands one-on-one -on -one in those six matches? Six fucking times! I can't take it anymore! And if you don't believe me, the Raw, the first Raw of the new era, on July 25th, SummerSlam, the Monday Night, two, the Monday Night Raw two weeks after Clash of Champions, 
Hell in the Cell. And then the first match. And then in the count out. And then the main event. So. I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm trying to comprehend. On what just happened. But you know what. Nah. No one's safe. No one's safe. Fuck it. I'm sick and tired of Sasha. I'm sick and tired of Charlotte. Not one positive thing is going to come out of my mouth about the women's division from this point on. Unless they do something that intrigues me on a Daniel Bryan main event in WrestleMania level. If they can't get to that level, fuck you. I don't care. I don't care. I begged and I pleaded for this match to end. What happens? For this feud to end and what happens? Okay. So now what can I predict? Oh, I predict Charlotte going to revoke her rematch clause either by next week or the Monday Night Raw's before Roadblock or after Roadblock or at Roadblock, make it a triple threat, including Bailey again and then or, or, or not, maybe at the Royal Rumble. I don't know. All I do know is, you know, my friend's right. A friend of mine named King Mo. He's right when he said this. They're going to try to make Charlotte a 16 time women's champion. Just like her old decrepit father. No one's safe, bro. No one's fucking safe. Not a soul. No one on this show. No one is safe. No one. Not a soul. F- Foley, you bearded bastard. You brain damaged, hip damaged. Missing an ear bastard. Sami Zayn could have just said, Fuck you. I'm going to SmackDown. I saw the tweet from Daniel Bryan. I retweeted it. I saw the tweet from Daniel Bryan. Saying how, you know, Team Blue is not going to hold you down. And I agree. Hmm. No one's safe on this show, bro. I- okay, so let's just... Let's just go back and let's start from the beginning. So, uh, Jericho, Owens, Reigns, segment. Owens tells uh, Jericho to shut up. Reigns just goading Owens into a match. Roman Reigns said if he wins, he gets a title shot at Roadblock. And he won. He won his fucking match. Did I care? No. Did I know it was happening? Yes. I knew it was happening from the beginning. From the beginning. (sighs) So, the Cruiserweights had quick matches. Rich Swan promo. I I don't know what to say about that. Um, Oh, my God. I keep tweeting it out. This... uh, 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 on tonight's show. Toronto. And this is a fact. No one can disagree. No one. Can tell me otherwise. Because you're full of shit. If you are. If you do. Toronto crowd. Based on what what I listened. And what I witnessed last week. The Toronto crowd in WWE is 10 times better than the majority of the crowds in the United States. Toronto alone is better than the majority of the United States. Think about that. Better than Tennessee. Better than Baltimore. Maryland. Better than freaking Iowa. Idaho. Ohio. Better than all those places. Only Chicago and New York and Philadelphia, maybe a little bit Pittsburgh and Boston, Mass, and a, and a Orlando, Florida, right? Six to seven of, of those venues, right? 
are on the same level as Toronto. Everything else, go fuck yourself. Maybe a Dallas, Texas included. You know, Orlando, right? Orlando, Dallas, maybe a Miami, Florida, and then that's it. Everything else could go fuck itself. So, tonight's show proved it. Charlotte, North Carolina. What's so good about Carolina? Nothing. Because it's flair country, right? Wow. A guy that I'm not really a fan of to begin. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a fan of Ric Flair. I don't care. I don't care about Ric Flair. I'm not saying this out of anger. This is just something I've been holding in. And I just didn't want to see on the internet. Because everyone's fucking sensitive on the, in- on the internet. Where if you, if you say something that you feel is the truth. Someone's going to come in and try to shut you down. Right? I never liked... Ric Flair as a, like a fan to how everyone else says, oh, one of the greatest of all time. I don't see him as one of the greatest of all time. Um, all I see is a dude that likes to get drunk. All I'm hearing about is, let me see you run. Jeff Fly. Woo! Get stealing. Will and Dalen. Son of a get. That's all I hear. And then the 16th time, even though he never won the, the WWE title 16 times, he just won championships from different promotions. And he just left it at 16. Think about that. Think about that. He's not a 16 time champion related to WWE. No, he is a 16 time champion to all the promotions, to all the territories he's been in in the past. So, in reality, he's only a one-time WWE champion. That matters to me. All the other titles he won over uh, those other promotions. Maybe a WCW title might count too. But besides that, I don't care. Fuck the AWA, NWA, fuck everything. And I don't want no old fuck coming on here saying, Oh, you don't know. You don't know. Look at this guy. This new generation. Are you fucking serious? Look, no one's safe. Rollins, Pedigree, Jericho, that wasn't even interesting at all. Um, like I said in my preview, my Raw preview, um, who deserved the Universal title shot? No one. Uh, no one along the lines of Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and Jericho. No one. Roman Reigns gets a title shot just for beating the champion clean in the middle of the ring. On Monday Night Raw, and yeah, you're gonna hear me a lot. You're gonna hear me smack on the on the fucking microphone. You're gonna hear me smack, and I'm not even eating no candy. All right, I'm just pissed right now. The fact that Charlotte and Sasha Banks are doing this again. Let's go back in time, where fifty fifty booking, fifty fifty booking. I. Wish a man would call me a smart mark if I see I don't care if you're joking or not. I swear to fucking God. I will delete obsolete delete obsolete your fucking comment Immediately Like that over I swear I'll block you don't piss me off. I swear to God. I Can't take it This is not this isn't me being a smart mark Okay. This is just that variety, bro. Variety. And here's another example. Enzo Amore versus Rusev again. Again. Same format as last week. Different time. It's just that Rusev got himself intentionally disqualified by low-blowing Enzo. That's the only thing that changed. Besides that, no. It's uh, uh, rinse and repeat. The only good thing I did not see is Golden Truth and the Shining Farts. Besides that, Raw, I don't know. It it wasn't the worst show. It was a, not, it wasn't a decent show. It wasn't good. It was a below average. I don't know if that's even good. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this, that 
Sasha won the title for the third consecutive time. I said this once, and I'll say it again. When it's Cena and Orton, Zayn and Owens. Oh, too many matches. Oh, 125 times. Oh, this needs to end. I'm getting bored and sick of it. How are people still interested in this feud? What have they done to keep your interest? And if, if, and here's the thing. I really hate it when I shit on people, when I shit on the women. And then some clueless fucking idiot on Twitter comes to me telling me, "Oh, so you don't like you don't like you don't like Sasha and Charlotte? So you're gay then?" Bro, I'm just going to say this right now. I would smash half or maybe all of the women in the Raw locker room, in the Raw uh, women's division, okay? I'm going to be honest. Hey. It's it's the it's the truth, okay? I will smash Lana, Summer Rae, Dana Brooke, Nia, yeah, Nia Jax too. Shoo. No discriminate. Sasha Banks, Bailey, and definitely Charlotte. Right? It's not about how they look. Yes, they're beautiful as fuck. Sasha Banks looked great tonight with her red attire. I loved it. But guess what? She won it again. Meaning that gives a reason for Charlotte to fight her again. Meaning, oh my god, you know what? I don't think this is going to happen at Roblox anymore. I don't think it's going to be a triple threat. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match again. Sasha versus Charlotte. Want to know why I just thought that? Because of the pay-per-view streak. It's going to continue. And then maybe Bailey might get her, her chance at the title one-on-one. -on -one. Or maybe Charlotte might be the one... To fight Bailey at WrestleMania. I don't know. Because at this point, they keep flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. They, it, it's the way how they just flip flop the title like this. It's like the goddamn weather each day, right? It's like, it's like one day the title is all, it, it, it's a, it's a nice. The weather is like a nice sunny day, and then the next day it's shitty and raining. Right now, it's it's raining, it's damped, it's horrible, bad weather, good weather, bad weather, good weather, bad weather each day, right? That's how the weather is in life. That's how it is right now, right? That's how it is with the women's title, Sasha Banks, the uh, I guess the the good weather, and Charlotte the bad weather. And it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I, I, I can't take it anymore. <sighs> oh. oh, my God. This needs to end. Oh, what else is there to talk about the show? I mean, Reigns beat uh, Owens. Owens is a fucking joke. I don't care anymore. No matter how much I love the guy as a fan, he's a joke. Jericho's a joke. Reigns is a joke. Rollins is a joke. Every single person on Raw is a joke. I am sick of it. I'm 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 on the edge and I'm not on and not of glory. No Lady Gaga. I am not there. I am on the edge of saying, "You know what?" McFoley, gotta go. Stephanie McMahon, even though I didn't see your bitch ass tonight, she gotta go. She still gotta go. I don't care. I don't care. Just, just the knowing that she's still the fucking commissioner, she gotta go. The Raw Women's title, gotta go. Universal title, gotta go. Rollins, Owens, Reigns, Jericho, gotta go. Everyone on Raw, gotta go. 
I don't give a fuck. Cole. Cole. Jesus Christ. Michael Cole. Sexton wasn't that bad tonight. He was uh, below average like the show. But Cole. Michael Cole. It's like the pain in my fucking tooth right now. Horrible. God awful. Just wanna, just wanna end the pain, end the pain, bro. The one thing I never forget Cole did tonight. He's like, oh, Sasha Banks is down. Even though, no, no. he said, he said, well, he said, Charlotte may be down, even though Charlotte is standing up on the fucking apron. And Sasha Banks, with her crooked-ass teeth, if you saw it, she's down. Purple hair, crooked teeth. So Sasha Banks must be part England. I swear. When Sasha Banks smiles, I cringe. When Kofi Kingston says, baby, I fucking cringe. When, when they do the WW, I cringe. The New Day got to go. And now, thanks to Call, I heard, oh. The New Day is going to have to defend their tag team titles every week until Roadblock. Okay. So, in order for them to, quote, earn it, said Cole, they have to defend their titles until the longest reigning record coming through by three weeks from now. 17 to 15 days. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure tonight's show must have got 200. No, sorry. Uh, 2 million, if not a slight, a little bit of a 3 million views to 2 million, 900,000 views. I, I, pre I predict that. That, that's what I predict in the ratings right now because I, that's what it felt like. It felt like a 2,900,000 show. It, I can't. No one on this fucking earth can tell me otherwise. Oh, no, you're stupid, you smart mark. You don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 no. I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, I I I don't have to watch this fucking business, this company, this product for freaking what thirty four years, thirty years, twenty years. I don't know. No, I watch this shit for seven years, and I go back. That's what they have the network for. I go back. I watch the old shit, the attitude there, most of it. But you know, there are times where I watch some old stuff. I, I like during the Survivor Series weekend. I watched. Uh, Survivor Series 1996, and then the Monday Night Raws following it. So, I've been watching some old WWE, you know, and I was more intrigued then than I am now. The Monday Night Raw in 2009 all drew 3, mil 3 million an, an episode. I look back on the ratings. 3 million an episode. Now, we're getting the 1s, 2s, and 3s. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Okay. So, is there one thing positive? Well, besides Sami Zayn, you know, calling Mick Foley hypocrite, which he is. You know, Mick Foley's that guy that... No, no, you can't, you know. Foley... I, I like I didn't notice it, but I did look back on it. Foley did, uh, you know, talk a lot of shit to uh, to when Daniel Bryan was getting screwed over and not winning the championship and not being in the main event, and he would be smashing his TV, getting upset and everything. 
Oh, but now he has a crappy sh fucking show on the network. Now, now he has a job, which even though he's just a freaking, he, he's not a contract worker. He's just there. Like, no bullshit. He doesn't have a contract. Like, seriously. He doesn't have a contract. Daniel Bryan has a contract. He doesn't. He's not a contract worker. He's just there. But he's just there. That's the thing. I don't know what to say. I think I'm going to end it here. I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm going to watch everyone else's review. I want them to rip the show to shreds because it doesn't feel like a good show to me. Like I said, if you went to Raw, you enjoyed the fuck out of it, I'm glad you did. Because I did the same thing last week. You know, we had fun. It was great and everything. I'm just saying it as a viewer from home. Watching it on TV for the first time in months. And just sitting there. I didn't care about the entire match at all. The moon cell she did. It's a, she turned it into a reverse DDT. So the backflip is no point. There's no point of doing it. Because it's basically a backflip into a DDT. The way, the way how the camera was angled. It was basically like that. So that's one. Number two. I, yeah, the, I, there was some match I didn't care. The second, the referee said that she tapped out. I was like, I was stunned. I'm like, are you fucking? I can't. Okay, so I'm just going to go after my main targets. Sasha Banks, Charlotte are dead to me. Not one positive thing, like I said. Not one single positive thing you can get out of me from this. Not one. New Day? Same thing. You know, but I expected them to retain their tag titles. I expected them to do. Because it's the New Day. You know? You say, oh, because WWE is some vengeful fucks. You know, we're just going to break them. You know what? what? Why am I? Why do I? Why? I'm not going to act like I care. I don't care at all. I just want them to lose the tag titles. I actually want them to lose it before they get to the... The longest reigning because it will hurt them a lot and uh, I'll be smiling. But you think I care about Demolition's record? I don't care at all. Uh, weeks ago, I'm pretty sure weeks ago in my Raw review, I was like, oh, you know, they don't deserve to touch it. They don't deserve to break it up. I don't care. I'm being real now. I'm sick of me hiding shit. I'm being real. I could care less if they break the Demolition's record. I could. I don't give a fuck about Demolition. Demolition didn't do anything for me. The fuck do I look like? Demolition ain't nothing more than some just old ass tag team like I give a fuck. You know? If you're not from the attitude they're up, I don't care. If you're not like the Heart Foundation, I don't care. Anything that these fucking old relics talk about and they praise so much, I don't care. Because I don't have a connection like they did. If I had a connection, then yeah, I'd be doing the same thing. Oh my God, I'm praising. I'm pr I'm praising to what they did years ago. No, I'm not praising shit anymore because I don't care. What have they done for me? Nothing. Nothing at all. So the Hardys, New Age Outlaws, hell yeah. Uh, Edge Christian, yep. Dudley's, yep. Uh, you know... And some teams of today. Cesaro and Kid. Yeah. But, um, besides that, like I said, I don't care if they break the record. So if New Day breaks the record, oh well. I just want them to lose it. I don't want them to hold it forever. You know? And my friend would stop cock writing them. Sorry. But, fact. Um, it's like they, they need to lose it. Like, they're devaluing the tag titles to me, in my opinion. And you're probably thinking, how the fuck are they devaluing it? Well, they're holding it for so long. What have they done? They haven't done anything with it. They haven't done anything important. The last time the New Day was even mentioned or talked about was when they ripped off the Hardy's final deletion. After that, no one cared. No one cared. 
it's just okay. Same old, same old. New Day rocks. Retain the title. Do the cheap tactics, and that's it. So yeah. Uh, Lana, I forgot to mention this. So, I forgot to mention this last week. So so Lana, okay. You see, Lana is a stupid bitch, stupid cunt. I don't like Lana anymore. I'm done with Lana. I legit tweeted out, what does Lana have to offer to me as a fan? Nothing. The fans like her because she's hot. Get over it, bro. One, you're not getting her. Two, like, seriously. Um, you, you're just not. <laughs> you're just not. Would I smash if I had the chance? Yeah, of course. You gotta be a fool to break that, to let that down. But at the same time, you know, I'm here to watch wrestling. And I'm just seeing her. And she's like, um, like when she says uh, something America, right? When she's telling American viewers to stand up and rise for Rusev. So I learned... You see, Lana, she may be a dumb cunt, but at the same time, she's smart. You wanna know why? Because she gave me some information that I didn't know. Lana, Lana basically taught me that the United States of America has 52 states. 52 states. They have Glasgow, Scotland, and they have Canada now. Toronto, Canada. That that yeah, fifty-two states now, not fifty states. So so they need to add two more stars on that that flag that they burned down because Trump became their president. By the way, because according to Lana, Canada and uh, Scotland is the is the other two states that has been added onto the flag. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! Like what she said, and now America, please. I'm like, wait, America? We in Canada, bitch? What the fuck you? And then before that, Glasgow. Oh. So yeah, Lana needs to get the fuck off my TV. And I can say that now because I watch all the TV. She needs to get off my TV now. Because what does she have to offer? Nothing. Nothing at all. She's pointless. I don't care about Dana Brooks stealing her move or whatnot. I don't care if you're training. Get off my TV unless you're going to wrestle because I can't take it anymore. You're not a good valet anymore. You're awful. You're pointless. You're useless. You're basically a fucking sex toy, a sex doll. You're just used for backstage segments of like a sex innuendo type shit. That's what you're used for. Lana is the most... Useless sack of shit I've ever seen right now. And I thought Byron Saxton was useless. Fuck. Lana's worse than that. Lana is worse than Saxton. And, and, and you can come at me about bullshit. I don't care. It's a fact. She's pointless, bro. What does Lana have to offer in the WWE? What does she have to offer? No. What Lana has to offer is the crappy freaking Total Diva show. Lana is nothing more than, I can't believe, I, I, I'm, I'm going to say this. I, I think Eva Marie has a better chance on being a bigger star of, 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 of actually fucking getting work done and actually trying to wrestle better than Lana. Lana is just there. Just for the, for the bright lights and the camera. And the whole world is watching her international. So, 
if anyone says, oh, Dana Brooke is awful, which she kind of is, kind of. Oh, oh, uh, Carmella's cringe. Natalia's cringe. Lana is worse than all of them. That's all I got to say about that. Lana is worse. Try, I dare you. Try to convince me. You don't go to different places in the world and say, Hello, America. Please rise for Rusev. Well, you're in Scotland and Canada. Okay? I ranted on Lana, on Lana before. Back when uh, they, they wasted Finn Balor's uh, demon uh, paint on, on the Raw before SummerSlam. When they wasted that. I ranted it then. And I'm ranting now. Lana is useless. Lana is just... Like, if, if we were in a life or death situation... Or we were in a zombie apocalypse. I would use Lana as a fucking sacrificial lamb. To stay alive. That's how useless she is. I don't care if that's hurtful. I don't care. That's how I feel. Try to convince me otherwise. But besides that, what else can I say? Bailey came on there just to kiss Sasha Banks' ass, and then Sasha Banks shut her down. I just, I, I can't. Leave your comments down below, man. What do you think? Because I'm just sick and tired of this shit. Leave your comments down below. But like I said, try to convince me otherwise why I should speak positive about the women's division on Raw. Try. Just try. You can't. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can say. There's no positives. Nothing at all. There's nothing positive to say. I'm out.